Yes, people. Now, welcome to As a Point of View. Now, we all know people who cheat. Maybe some of you have cheated on your partners before, but hey, that just kind of seems to be a part of life these days. But what I want to tell you is how you stop your partner from cheating, or at least try to prevent it in some way. There's a few tricks and tips you can use. So today on As a Point of View, we're gonna have a look at this. Now, tricks, okay, things you can do, okay, stop your partner cheating. Now, get to know his friends or her friends, okay? I've been in situations where some, uh, you know, I've got a mate who wants to go do something silly with some girl. And I'd be like, well, what are you playing at? You know, you're, 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 you've got a good woman at home. I'm not doing those things. I've kind of talked him out of it. And that's mainly because I met his missus, I knew his missus. I liked her and I would have really felt bad for her if he did something stupid. So that's one thing you can do. Now, another thing you can do is if you have a partner, let's say, you know, you both live separately. Say, look, I want to hold a key just for emergencies in case I get locked out or whatever. Feel free to use it if you want, whatever. Now, your partner should feel obligated to do the same thing. And if your partner knows you've got a key to their place, they're less likely to do something stupid in their, in their own flat. But that doesn't stop them from going outside and doing other things. But there are ways that you can stop them from doing that. If your partner cheats, you shouldn't be with that person. Simple as that. You should break up. Now, I know my missus, if I messed around on her, she's gone. We got two kids. You know, regardless of that, she, would go, she was be gone. Once the trust is gone, as far as I'm concerned and she's concerned, you cannot have a relationship once the trust is gone. So once that bond is gone, you're out of there. Don't forgive, don't you? Oh, you know, they the go, you know, oh, forgive him, you know, forgive her. They won't do it again, they promise. No, 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 no. Once a cheat, always a cheat. They do that, get the hell out of there. As simple as that. You'll get over it. That's the way I look at it. Life goes on. Okay, so make, set them boundaries from the beginning, make it clear, that's unacceptable. A few more sneaky things you can do, okay? Now, if you've got a phone, okay, let your battery die. Just let it die every now and again. A couple of times a week, a few times a week, and say to your partner, oh, my battery's dead. Can I use your phone to look at something on the internet? Or something like that, or to make a phone call, phone a friend. So if your partner knows you're always kind of, that your partner gets the impression you're kind of, careless with your phone and um, uh, they feel, well, if my partner uses my phone quite a lot, you know, they'll feel less comfortable about, you know, doing other things, knowing that you're on that person's phone quite regularly. They'll, they'll constantly be sitting there while you're on the phone being scared, oh, don't look at my photos, don't look through my contacts, you know, <laughs> and therefore they'll be less likely to do something dodgy. It's all about keeping your partner on their toes. Keep them on their toes constantly. Your partner calls you up, oh yeah, look, you know, I've got to work late, blah, 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 this and that. You say, okay, cool. You turn up at their workplace, but you do it in such a way that, oh, you know, I'm, we, I went and got a takeaway. I thought, since you're working late, I'm going to bring you some food for work. Or, you know, oh, I surprise you, I'm going to pick you up for work. Or, oh, I just came to work during your lunchtime. I just want to take you out for lunch, nice little surprise. If your partner feels that at any moment you're gonna turn up to their workplace, they can't use it as an excuse. I'm working late. Oh, I've got to go into work on Sunday, finish off some work. Because they know that you might just turn up there and find out that fool just ain't there. So that eliminates one of the main excuses people tend to use when they're messing around. It's all about keeping them on their toes. Be spontaneous. When it comes to sex with your partner, okay? You know, so a lot of people, they get into that almost pattern, you know, saying like, okay, yeah, Sunday we're both off, today's the day we make love. I mean, nah, 
be spontaneous, okay? Your partner comes from work, you're waiting at home in some sexy underwear or something like that. I don't know, you got some champagne, strawberries, rose petals on the bed, however it is you want to do, but you're spontaneous, you know? You jump on your partner at any time, you know? You surprise them with sex because I see it like this. If you've got a partner who sometimes a lot of people get into that routine of sex, like I say. If you've got a partner who's spontaneous, you never know when they're going to suddenly jump on you or want to get intimate with you. You're going to be less likely to go do something else. If you go mess around with some other woman and you come home and your partner's standing at the door half naked waiting for you, you know, and saying, now, nah, I want you now, come, let's go. You can't be like, oh, I need to go in the shower because obviously I'm smelling of this woman. I've got her scent on me. You know, I may get, have some of her hair on me or his hair on me or something like that. That, you know, that becomes, you know, you, you, you get, you're scared. You know, you imagine that somebody would be scared knowing that their partner's going to jump on them, knowing that they're coming home after just being with another woman. Or even if they've been with another woman, they've showered at that person's house and they're smelling fresh. You know, you're thinking, well, you just had a day at work. Why are you smelling so fresh? Why are you smelling like you've just showered? Like, that would arise all sorts of suspicion, you know? If you're getting intimate, you know, with your partner in a way where you're going down there, especially from a woman's point of view, you'll smell a man. If his part smell like rubber or anything like that, and you know that he's been doing something or, or down there, that, you know, they're going to... You know, you don't want that. You just, you, a man will feel, wow, if my partner smells me down there or wherever, they smell something different, they're going to know. So just be spontaneous and that will always keep them on their toes and it will be make, make them less likely to be able to go out and do some stupidness, okay? Well, look, I hope these tips help because I know with my, like I say, I don't cheat on my woman. My woman is amazing. She gave me two gorgeous kids as well. And so I just don't even feel the need. Plus, you know, I'm at the age where it's, it just doesn't interest me at all. You know, but when people are young, they may feel a bit more, you know, they want to just explore more and, and be a bit more frisky. So, you know, these things can often help your relationship stay strong. If you haven't got a partner that challenges you and excites you, they're probably going to want to go and cheat anyway. So just be spontaneous. And I hope this helps your relationship out there. And I'll see you next time on Azu's Point of View.